Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about Delta Lake solution architecture. Delta Lake is nothing but one of the Databricks component. Delta Lake is data warehouse like solution provided by Databricks. So using Delta Lake, we can now build data warehousing solution in Databricks. So when there is a requirement to build data warehouse solution using Delta Lake in Databricks, the first step is we need to create solution architecture for our project. So in this video, I'm going to cover high level information, how we can build solution architecture in Delta Lake. I have already posted a couple of videos for Delta Lake. The first one, the introduction to Delta Lake. In this video, I talked about what is state Delta Lake and the basics. And in the next video, I have, uh, uh, I have talked about Delta Lake architecture which means internal working mechanism of Delta Lake. I highly recommend to watch these videos in case you haven't watched. Coming to Delta Lake architecture, generally you know, we used to follow this kind of architecture. Before coming to Delta Lake architecture, first let me show what is Delta Lake solution architecture. Before I started Delta Lake architecture, in most of the projects we used to have Data Lake solution architecture. And even today also, in most of the projects, we can have data lake solution architecture. And this is the standard format. This will contain three layers, raw, curated, serving. The serving layer, you know, in some projects, they used to call this as a business layer or target layer. But generally, you know, we will have three different layers. In the raw layer, one of the ETL program, one of the ETL tool might pull the data from the data sources and it will dump the raw data into raw layer. It could be in one of the big data file format. It could be CSV, JSON, Parquet, Avro. It could be one of the big data file format. So the data would be dumped into raw layer. This is mainly used only for sourcing and storage purpose. This is built on top of data lake. And in the next layer, again, the ETL uh, tool, it could be ADF or Databricks or, you know, Amazon uh, Glue or Dataflow in uh, GCP and it could be some ETL tool that might pull the data from the raw layer. It will do the cleansing and transformation operations and the curated data would be loaded into curated layer. Even this is also built on top of data lake. And once again, the ETL tool will pull the data from curated layer and it will apply all the business heavy logics, business heavy aggregations and transformation. And finally, the final aggregated data would be moved to serving layer. This is also built on top of data lake. And what is the difference between data lake and delta lake? In the data lake, we cannot perform DML operations. It provides poor support for acid transactions. But coming to delta lake, you know, we can perform those things. That is a major difference. So with that aspect, in a data lake architecture, in any layer, it's not queryable. You know, we cannot perform any data warehouse like operations. So in the data warehouse um, operations, generally we used to perform you know, data analysis. So directly we cannot perform data analysis on top of these data lake architectures. That was the shortcoming. And now let's move to Delta Lake architecture. So coming to Delta Lake architecture, this is also quite similar, but you know there are some minor differences that I'm going to highlight. The first thing is in Delta Lake architecture, generally we are uh, calling bronze, silver and cold. These are the different layers. In data lake, we, we used to have raw, curated and serving layer. But coming to delta lake architecture, generally we used to call this as bronze, silver and cold. That is the one difference. And the second main important difference is in the bronze zone, you know, that is the uh, integration point. So ETL tool, maybe it's a data bricks, it's pulling the data from disparate uh, data sources and dumping the raw data into bronze layer. It could be in any big data file format. This is built on top of data lake. Still, this is not Delta Lake. And coming to the next layer, silver and gold, both are built in Delta layer. That is the major difference. So here in silver and gold, both are sitting on top of Delta Lake. So why uh, you know we are uh, keeping only silver and gold layers on Delta Lake, whereas bronze sitting on top of Data Lake? Why? Because in the bronze layer, that is the raw data, we are simply dumping all the raw data as it is. So here, this is mainly for storage purpose. Uh, in you know, most of the companies, you know, as per legal regulation, we have to store the data for many years. So this is for long retention period. So that's the reason, you know, generally we don't uh, perform any analysis on top of raw data. So that's the reason we are not going to perform any data warehouse like operations on top of raw data. That's the reason we are using data lake. So 
the uh, ETL process uh, will consume the data from the sources, then it would be it, it would dump into Prawn's layer. Then in the next step, again it could be Databricks. Uh, uh, you know, Databricks will consume the data from Prawn's layer. It will clean and also it will do the basic transformations and it will dump the data into Silver layer. In the cleansing, you know, generally we used to perform, um, you know, a duplicate handling, null value handling, or you know, a few basic transformations. Those kind of operations we used to perform in this uh, in this layer, cleansing layer. So the cleanse data will be moved to silver layer. This is built on top of Delta Lake. So generally, after performing cleansing and transformations, normally we used to query. You know, we we used to get many questions for data validation or data quality check. So for that, we used to write a query and we used to check. So this is sitting on top of Delta Lake. So this is queryable. So in this layer, we can perform any data warehouse like operations. Once uh, uh, data is populated to silver layer. Then again, the ETL process, ETL tool Databricks, it can consume the data from silver, uh, silver lake, silver uh, layer. Then on top of that, it can apply all the business heavy operations like uh, transformations and complex aggregations. Everything will be uh, executed. Then the final, final uh, processed business aggregated data will be moved to gold layer. And this cold layer, this is also data warehouse like layer. So we can do any kind of data analysis. You know, we can. This is queryable. And um, uh, you know the advantage of Delta Lake is you know uh, in the basic uh, tutorial I have covered Delta Lake. You know this is uh, this is providing support to ASI transaction and also it uh, ensures data reliability and it uh, boosts the performance. So these are applicable for these two layers. Now this uh, this cold layer that is similar to our data warehousing serving layer. This is a serving layer. So any uh, reporting tools, any BI platform reporting tools can connect to. Uh, this uh, cold layer and it can consume data for the reporting purpose. So this is the high level uh, Delta Lake solution architecture. Basically, this will contain three layers, bronze, silver, cold. Out of that, bronze will continue in Delta Lake uh, uh, architecture, but uh, silver and gold, both, layer, both layers would be sitting on top of Delta Lake. I hope uh, you understood. Uh, the high level uh, solution architecture for any Delta Lake project. This is the recommended uh, pattern uh, given by Databricks. Hope you like the content of this video. If you like, please uh, like and comment in the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.